Welcome, Whiskey Vault. <sighs> did you go from lunch to here? <clears throat> yes, you did. It's good. What are you, Tupperware? I had, uh, right. so, had some Thai food. I went with uh, our new operations manager, manager oh, nice. and uh, banana. Banana. We got some Thai food. Which one? Um, the Simply. Simply? Simply Pop. Oh, oh, the one like pull and go left instead of yeah, yeah. go by, no, no, not Duke not by and, league. Not Duke and Fork. Duke and Fork. It is. It smells like. Yeah. That's disappointing, dude. Yeah. Um, okay. I gave, I gave him a second chance. Second nope. chance, Duke. Yeah. Duke and Fork. So, David Campbell, Magnificent Bastard, gave us four bottles. David Campbell, you Magnificent Bastard. We're going to do them all in one video. Right. I, this is Ironclad Distillery. I got in, so nervous for a second. Because? Because I saw that you took this off. I didn't know if you loosened it. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> about to dump the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, this is Virginia. Mm -hmm. And they're using Virginia grain. They're trying to do everything themselves. Ironclad aged and bottled in mm -hmm. uh, Newport. Okay. Now, yeah. we're going to start with their bourbon. Because after this. It's a good pot, by the way. And we're going to pour. We're going to keep coming back to the bourbon. So I'm pouring extra. Yeah. Because everything else that we try is based off of this bourbon. Okay. Right? All right. That's a generous pour. So I know we're going to have to AB. Okay. Right? So this is the Ironclad bourbon. All we know is double distilled, 500 gallon copper pot. Oh. Okay. Right? Yeah. Aged over two summers. So at least two years old, the okay. small batches. Yeah, yeah. This is a honey mm. farmer's market granola. Yeah, this is way more craft bourbon mm -hmm. than what we were doing yesterday. Farmer's Just market, right man. down the middle. And you know what? They got some hay bales around the market just to kind of give it that more. It's very dry. That There's down, a down almost homey mushroom feel. note. Oh, you got the mushroom note? Almost. Is it like almost? <laughs> is that a brand? <laughs> no, 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 you, it's a Waco thing. Is it all? The, almost. Almost. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's almost. almost. <laughs> no, it's almost. No, it's almost. It's almost. It's almost. <laughs> it's almost. There's an L. No, it's <laughs> Just take your L, man. No. Just take your L. No, I can't. I doubled down on K and they wouldn't let me have L. <laughs> <laughs> you use too many Ks, you don't get an L. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. My I, alphabet goes H I J K K. Yeah. M N O P. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like the nose. So this craft yeah, nose, this this this, this uh, farmers market craft granola. The overemphasis on the hay granola d throws me a little. No, I think you also may be concerned because we've had noses like this before, and it, mm -hmm. it does a lot of the times also in a company a green note on the taste. Yeah. We don't want that. We're gonna find out. All right, all right, there we go. Yeah, it's there. It's not dominating though. No, no, no. It's fine. I I think. It's a grassiness. Yeah, with the right barrels, this could yeah. age out over time. And again, it's not this this sap, heavy-handed. It's no. just some green grassiness, which I don't mind grassiness. Mm. I think it's good. Oh, it lands on a cherry. No, it's a thing that some people really love. I yeah. mean, our sloppy poncho in the tasting room has yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. Lands on like a cherry. Mm. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're going to take that, hold on to it. Well, uh, I want to see what runs up to that cherry real quick. I just picture the guy in Monty Python coming running up from the running up towards the castle. It's like a cinnamon is mixed in with that granola honey. Yeah, took some cinnamon, sprinkled in the, the honey, you made some granola. granola. Mm. Yeah. Okay, it's this good. is their bourbon. It's good. And you can tell the pot still has a little bit more density and vibrance of those flavors. There's more to it than you would typically get at uh, 90 proof, mm -hmm. 45%. This is their bourbon finished in mm -hmm. toasted new oak. Toasted new oak? Yeah. Okay. Do you recall... Look at the color dart difference. Yeah. This is so different. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hmm. And this is just a barrel difference? Yeah. The wow. finishing barrel. Wow. I, it's far, well, again, as far as I know, they don't talk a lot about the mash bill. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> uh, this? Way more musty. Also, there's like a little bit more of an elegance and refinement to it. Yeah. This tells me, oh, craft. It's, yeah, it's and young and brash. Yeah, it's nicely done craft. It's farmer's market granola. It's a got a little bit more oils. Cinnamon and honey. But this, though, 
a little bit more tannin forward, mm -hmm. a little bit more of the wood oil. A little bit darker and heavier flavor set in there. Hmm. Molasses. Mm. Yeah, more of a molasses character. Oh, the taste is so much better. It comes through with a light, like, latte, coffee nut, and then a oil, wood oil, and oh. then the molasses, and then there's sweetness like, and honey. Like a, ch like a cola sweetness, mm -hmm. that heavy crap. Again, we're in the, the craftiness. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Well, yeah, those craft colas that have, like, the syrup forward. Yeah, this has got way more depth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish this wasn't the small bottle. Yeah. Missouri Toasted Oak Cask. Uh... So, do you recall, because it's probably been a minute, what kinds of flavors are typically going to be thrown into a spirit from a toast as opposed to something that's going to be no, higher up in chard? I mean, I used to have this all in my head, but it's no. been so long since we've talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've never been that, you know, interested to explore the toasts. No, it does bring some of the sugars. Yeah. Changes the sugars. That's nice. Changes access to everything behind the char. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, ramps up some of the... So, for context, there are charts whenever you are getting yeah. barrels of different char levels. Mm -hmm. um, I think three is the most standard, you know, yeah. often Four charred. is the highest that they'll typically do for char, alligator yeah. char. Alligator, it's just falling apart. <laughs> But the, know, maybe. toasting but, a barrel breaks down some of the cellular structure of mm -hmm. the wood before you char and create the char layer. Yeah, and um, yeah. we got to find that chart again to see what flavors you are often going to pull out at the different char levels. Because if you're trying to steer a uh, spirit in a st specific kind of direction with the palate, mm -hmm. you uh, can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do it. Um, okay, I'm going to save both of those. Uh, it's about to get very weird in a second. Are you ready? Oh, come on. So now... It's a deep, rich, dark, set that sweet, aside. heavy, molasses -y tea. Totally different. Now we're going to try it where they took their bourbon and finished it. Okay, did you real quick try put your nose back in the original? Yeah, yeah, I did. I have the original right here. Much more of an apple cider note. Yeah. It in, still it, young and fresh. We're still in the farmer's market, yeah. but if they're doing some homemade so apple cider. Switched to the different booth. Yeah, you went from the granola booth to the apple well, cider booth. It's like booth. we're hanging out at, at a... What is it? Stars Hollow. Yeah. With the Gilmore Girls. I <laughs> we think, went from a nice little granola honey, the I apple cider stands the over here. The closest farmer's market to me is like a Lowe's parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take that same bourbon. Keep your original up there. You got it. And follow it with bourbon finished in maple syrup barrels. Oh. Okay. So barrels that actually held syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah. Ironically, I'm not smelling it like I thought I would. It's a lighter touch. I thought it would be immediate. It's yeah, not. It's a lighter touch than I was expecting. It's I don't nice. know that I can smell syrup. It's nice. I really like the nose. It's Whoa. just not, it's not what I was preparing. Cinnamon for. Toast Crunch. Oh, on this? No, no, no. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go back after smelling this, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, it wakes up the cinnamon. Cereal. It wakes up the cinnamon. That was bizarre. But between the two, again, the smaller bottle, this smells more, I'm more excited about it. It's softer in the nose. There's a, a fruitiness starts to creep in. Oh, you can recreate it every time. If you go straight from the honey right into the one and think cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Yeah, yeah. the dusty sugar <laughs> yeah. squares, yeah. It's, that's really fun. This is... I just, I can't get away from that. I really enjoy it. <laughs> okay. This is like a stewed apples. Yeah. I'm going to try to sit because I can't seem to get past that top layer of density. There it is. You know, I got to oh. say, that's, oh, hell a, yeah. that's a soft wow. touch. Wow, that's beautiful. Good on them, because well. I was ready for that to be an over-dominating, cloyingly sweet something. It is not. I'm going to tell you, you know what, here, if I'm buckled up for a maple mm -hmm. funky adventure, does not deliver the maple. No. What is in here, though, is beautiful. Good. It's nice. You're not getting maple flavors, though. I'm getting more of a fruitiness. Spread it around. Mm-hmm. It starts to come out in the finish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Damn. Oh, man, I, I just fell in love with the original bourbon nose, yeah. but only after smelling the maple, mm -hmm. because I cannot escape Cinnamon Toast Crunch so strong. It's a very clever marketing ploy. You're going to love this, but only after you buy this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now... 
No, the taste is still green and it's the nose that goes magical. Okay. Oh, the taste is even drier now. It is. Wow. On the small <laughs> bottles from Ironclad, mm -hmm. they can make a mean damn whiskey. It's just going to be the little bit off the beaten the path. The rare ones. Yeah. So this one, this is, okay. Mm -hmm. This might be a buckle up one. Okay. I brought my buttercup. And there probably won't be a lot of going back, so you may want to take a sip of your favorite bourbon. So we can buckle up. So that you at least get a chance to remember it being nice. Oh yeah, that um, toasted finish is back to like pipe tobacco and cigar, or cigar leaf. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay, before you pick it up, are you ready? Can I tell you, if I had only been having the smaller bottles, mm -hmm. I'd be like, ironclad. What dude, are they doing? Bringing it. But they brought this. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But the smaller ones, damn. AR's Hot Southern Honey Cask. Okay. Bourbon whiskey yeah. finished in chili infused honey barrels. All right. Are you uh, ready? I'm, I'm picking up what they're throwing this is down. It's like hot chicken kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think they do this as like just a core line, but then they get they they go play, they, they experiment, they have fun, they do interesting things. Mm -hmm. So far, the interesting things have turned out amazing. Yeah. This though, this could be a recipe for disaster. We're about to find out. <sighs> Again, this one actually it's so lighter. is very light. Much. It yeah. does smell a little vinegary, like um, very little. Okay, so like very when we were little. trying all those hot sauces, yeah. the way the room smelled after that faint leftover sauce, hmm? right? Very, dude, that's but so, so light. Mild. So yeah. It's all right, minimal. let's find out if the chili lingers. The capsaicin. What's the Scoville on this? <laughs> Immediately on the tip of the tongue. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh, there it is. There's a the spice. Right on the outside edges. Oh. Oh, oh, Ooh. it's growing. Yeah. There's the chili. <clears throat> That's real. Yeah. No, they're not fucking around. <laughs> God, it's like a. Look, I think that like this was there. Let's play it safe and be cool so yeah, that yeah, we yeah. can make sure all the people who have money in this thing are okay. Yeah. And this is like, you guys want to do some cool shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. This. <laughs> Is like let's let everybody go free and do amazing things. Yeah, no, I I like that they're doing some really Still interesting stuff. Bernie, the spice was immediate before I even tasted flavors. Oh yeah, the the spicy just explosion on the tip of the tongue. Well, the alcohol. Like, poof, there it is. Alcohol is gonna accentuate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the the role of capsaicin and alcohol. It's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want you want to try it again? I don't know. Oh, I do, I do. I love spicy stuff. Yeah. No, me too. But it's like I'm I'm a little nervous all of a sudden for some reason. It builds. <laughs> it just grows. Yeah. All right, this time swish it, it around. It just layers on top the thing you took before. <clears throat> it stuck in the bottom of my throat. You ever take, <clears throat> it's not the flavor of um, uh, Red Hots, because that's basically the flavor of Red Hots in alcohol is Fireball. Yeah. But if you ever took a oh. mouthful of Red Hots, you just chew through it, and then not the flavor, but the spiciness. Yeah, no, I don't hate The Red hotness. Hots. That spiciness, that's the level of just a mouthful of Red Hots. That'll be fun to edit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't normally work with oils, but I'm wondering if like the alcohol is carrying the capsaicin so you can wash it down. Take a sip of your bourbon now, mm. and it's ruined. It's just ruined. It tastes terrible. I kind of really, dude, that's really, it's just fun to drink. So weird. It's fun to drink. Yeah. It tastes, you know, it tastes fine. It's yeah. not bad. No, no, no. It's, yeah. It's, it's nice. It's nice. But the thing that's the kick is the thing that all you're left with. Now try that <laughs> bourbon and it's just ruined. Ruined. Wow. Not the smell, the taste. No, the smell's still interesting. That green note on mm. the smell, on the nose, that got ramped up. It was yeah. pretty low key. On and this is cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. Ooh, I just got uh, like a. Huh. Oh, it's terrible. Need some crackers. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, is this there? Burp, burp, burp. We got Loman Fox. I know you guys can't speak for other distilleries, but when we see these special 50 year release come out, is that a conscious decision from the distillery to hold the barrel that long, or is it more, oh shit, guys, we just found the super old barrel, let's release it? They yeah. usually don't. So, my understanding, mm -hmm. I think this is what uh, Jared Hemstead told us. Mm -hmm. 
Um, those really, really, really old barrels, it's not because they were trying to make a 50-year-old barrel. It's just they kept going back to it, and year after year after year, they kept saying, nope, this isn't what, we le what we're looking for. Yeah. So and eventually either. they get to a point where it's still not what people expect from us, but it's so right. old we can make a mint. <laughs> so let's yeah, there's it. Yeah, there's a point where it, there's a point where it's off profile, not wrong. Yeah. Just off profile, and it keeps getting set aside. And then there's a point at that point where it's old enough that you're like, oh, let's hold on and see what happens, mm -hmm. and not fuck around with it. So eventually, you go back to the spicy thing just on the nose. Mm -hmm. I do get the honey character though. That's really starting to wake yeah, up. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, way more honey. Yeah. Than this other one was. Uh, Maple syrup. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spicy honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damnos. Damnos. Um, so what is the difference? How do you decide who a patron saint of whiskey is and who is a magnificent bastard? Yeah. So once again, as a reminder, what we did was, we made up on the spot. Yeah, we just made stuff up. Was, yeah. if you donated one, you're a magnificent bastard. Yep. By the, when you hit seven, seven, you're a patron saint. Yep. When you hit uh, 12, you're a titan. Sure. And that was what it was. Then 20, we made up something in the 20s yeah. where we were like, whatever, fuck it. I trash, guess you're a tr trash, trash titan, titan now. Yeah. 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 And then, like, theoretically, there is a prestige. Yeah. Where you go back to Magnificent Bastard. Then there's Full Mitch, which is just its own, yeah. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. So, Ironclad, I like it whenever, I like them most whenever they're coloring outside the lines. Mm hmm. Whenever they're coloring outside the lines, I think that's when they're at their best. Yep. This, I feel like I've had scores of times before. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. This, though, hell yeah, that's so fun, so interesting, well executed. Yeah. Yeah. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. If you drink, may you drink the best.